Hello, everybody. <laughs> about to go on a little chipotle date with my baby and i wanted to do i don't know if i'm gonna make this into a series because every time i try to do a talking series i i'm not gonna say fail but i just don't keep up with it because i like clothing hauls and doing other stuff so i'm just gonna talk about some random things that i've been thinking about recently because life be life in so one thing for sure is that i'm a traveler i love traveling um i love going to places even if it's just like new restaurants or different airbnbs in different cities that we like traveling to like we used to go to tennessee and go to a different city all the time like we obviously went to pigeon forge a couple of times went to severville went to knoxville went to nashville like we've been like because that's close so it's a close road trip so we go to different spots whatever been to alabama a couple times and um yeah i just like to travel but like i need a friend group that's down to do anything and everything all the time. Like I have my girls that I hang out with and we do stuff when we can, but we all work, but you know what I mean? But I want us to all get to a point where we ain't gotta worry about punching nobody clock. So like, it's just like, quote unquote, my dream, like dream friend group to just like drop whatever or be able to put on pause, whatever we got going on so we can travel, go dance, drink, what, have fun. Like I'm ready to just like let loose. I'm about to be 25 this year. Hmm, taking my time on that but the, these are like prime time years to like travel and do all this stuff like yeah we're supposed to be grinding so we can have a better like later life but that doesn't mean have no life right now you can grind and do all the things that you need to do and still have fun basically i mean obviously we're putting forth the effort to do that right now while we're like upgrading in our jobs and stuff like that we've all at this point gotten promotions raises <laughs> like literally um, I didn't tell anybody about mine, so this is a surprise if you guys watch this. But anyways, um, it's just my, my quote-unquote, like I said, dream to have a friend group that can just travel and go and do whatever. But that only happens when uh, we get the when, when we get our plans together, when we get things situated how we want to, right? But as I work at my workplace, talking about people, it's just like folks I work with are just so fake. And it just makes me like, I'm not going to say reevaluate my own people because my own folk, we cool. But at the same time, at some point in time in our lives, we are probably not necessarily talk shit, but said something behind the friends back that they're not going to like confess that they said. Because like, as I'm working, I work with these people, these drama filled people. Everybody talks behind everybody's back. And it's just like, how is it so easy to be two faced? Like, I literally can't talk like real shit behind somebody's back and then go smile on their face like i can say damn that girl is loud but i'm loud so it's like if i say yeah you're loud but it is whatever like it's stuff like that i don't talk like shit like like oh they probably got something going on at the house they probably miserable they probably got this guy going on da, 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 da. like i'm not saying like mean stuff i'm mostly telling the truth i'm a, i can't lie for shit so if someone confronts me about something i said that's why i don't say anything crazy in the first place even though i don't really have a knack to because I'm not gonna be able to lie. I'm gonna be able to see right through it. But people are just so two-faced and it's they're so good at it. Like it kind of is weird like how fake people can be. And I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's me, I can't fathom living a life on the edge of wondering if somebody's gonna find out what I said about them or what I am uh, what I did behind their back or something like that. Like I, I don't know, that just seems so stupid to me. That's just me. Like people are so fake and they're so good at it like scarily good at it and i just don't understand like like i said everybody has talked they shit and said something behind somebody's back whether it was super mean whether it was just the truth or whatever but like i've just i've been very observational lately on people and they are so good at being two-faced and it scares me so that's why i'm glad my circle is small because anything that is said between us we can tell each other like there's things obviously there's still conversations that we may have with each other in confidence you know they really expect anybody to say anything to the next person even if it's like we're a trio if i say something to one of them i don't expect them to go run and tell the other you know what i mean like i, I told you something or you told me something that st stays between us or whoever told you know but these folk like i've just been so observational of people so very aware of my surroundings when it comes to people because people are so easily two-faced and it is so scary 
because I just don't want it's it's scary because I'm not the type of person to do things like that and I don't want people around me like that and then I start developing those habits because birds of a feather flock together I don't care what anybody says it is true I used to be around a whole lot of people who smoked weed and was always going to parties and getting drunk and doing this doing that and I was never a party person like I was never I never smoked weed and I still haven't so let's just clear that up but um, and it's not, I'm not talking about nobody who does, that's your life, but, but my life, I don't do that. For me, it's stupid. For you, do whatever you want. But I'm just saying, like, that's just not something I've done. But I was hanging around a whole lot of people who did that, and a whole lot of folks who did it religiously, too. Like, it wasn't like just, it, it wasn't like it was rare, or like every now and again, it was like daily, weekly, everythingly. <laughs> like, I was just like, I can't be around a frequent smoker, because it gets to the point where like, even my friends were getting like, I have friends that we were all together and none of us had done that and then we got around people who did that all the time and then they all tried it i still did it i'm not a victim of peer pressure one thing about me i'm stubborn I, i'm stubborn on my morals i'm not going to let anybody take me out of myself i'm the type of person who i never ever ever wanted to smoke smoke anything i've never smoked a cigarette never smoked weed never smoked the vape never smoked hookah never smoked anything okay i don't smoke the only thing that has ever been in my lungs is oxygen okay <laughs> but my my point in all of this is that all of a sudden they tried it they've been around the people who do it and they do it all the time so eventually it spread on to them and they tried it i never did and i also didn't hang out with those people anymore and it's not necessarily like oh they were bad people it's just not a lifestyle i live it's as simple as that like you would think it's so simple and so easy to just hang out with them and still not but like one time i was literally in a room of smoke and let's just say secondhand is real so i don't want secondhand either so I'm in a room of 10 people and nine people are smoking and I'm the 10th person not. What's the point? <laughs> There's no point. So I, I just can't. And if that's something that y'all do frequently every day or every week all the time that I'm always missing out per se, we're not hanging out, we're not doing anything because y'all always doing that. That's what it was. And I was just like, it's just not something I can do. It's not something I want to do. I just want to be my own person. Okay. So people like i'm glad i have my friend group i just want to travel make money grow big with them and if i develop people along the way that is also like that then cool but that's why like that no new friends thing is kind of real because you're not necessarily trying to hang out with a whole bunch of people who are who have a very sedentary mindset just stagnant complacent you you just don't want any of that you want somebody who's going to make you challenge yourself you know what i mean and it's like a friendly competition it's just like hey i'm proud of you for getting your promotion but shit i need to work harder so i can get one too and so we all making better money and we all growing up and getting higher in the hierarchy okay stuff like that like it's not like oh i don't know why she got that it's not like a competition or a jealousy thing it's just like hey we've been grinding for a while sometimes you gotta switch up your action plan to get where you need to get and that's just the type of friend group we got like we are very proud and happy for one another when stuff comes up and obviously you want your stuff to go well too so maybe it makes you look at yourself like hey what could i be doing different for this to also happen to me or if it has happened to me already do it again stuff like that it, so i don't know that that's just me because like we we all we all going through it with friends but I am no longer going through it with friends. Anybody who was not on my radar, I've deleted so many numbers. Oh my God. And it's not it's not always negative. It's just like, if there's no purpose, like sometimes you'll talk to a friend just because they make you laugh or you'll talk to a friend just because they're a listener or you talk to a friend just because they give you good advice or you talk to a friend like everybody has their real like sole purpose in your life that helps you and you help them obviously. It's vice versa, not just take it and no give it. <laughs> but I if there's just absolutely no purpose like if it's always just like messing drama or it's always just like oh I need some money like <laughs> that's not a friend they're not adding anything to your life not even mentally or spiritually it doesn't always have to be like physically you don't always have to go out and do something you don't always have to like give me something but mentally give me something something that is actually useful to my being if there's nothing not physically or mentally it's time to go like especially if you drop off the face of the earth and then come back and ask me for something no ma'am no i just can't do it i just can't do it so that's just me so that's my gossip i was gonna talk about like relationship stuff but then i again realized 
I'm not a relationship expert. I don't ever want to sit here and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about, I know what I'm doing, um, that I got it figured out, any of that. I am genuinely, genuinely, genuinely a person who just figures it out as I go. I'm like, the, there's no amount of research that's going to tell you how to do a relationship. You can look at other people's look at other people's stories or listen to other people's stories and their experiences and what they go through but at the end of the day eight billion people live on this earth so there's eight billion different ways to do things eight billion different hearts so there's no cure there's no book there's no rules there's no this is how it's going to work if you do this there's no abc equals d there's no nothing like you have to figure it out for yourself if one thing works for one couple it's not going to work for the next so as much as you want to judge another person's relationship, the only thing that you should be judging is if whoever is being mistreated in the relationship, whether it's the man or the woman, wonder why the hell they not going to get out of a bad relationship. But if they can figure it out and they can work it out, that's their business. So it's just like every relationships are hard, period, point blank. But I, I can't, I can ask for advice, I can ask for a story, but just because something works for somebody else doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And actually 100% of the time, it's not because you're two different people. You're a whole couple of different people from the pet from the couple that you got advice from if that makes sense i hope that makes sense you can't expect a formula that was god created for one group to ex to work for you you need your own creation that's going to work for you now it might work to an extent but there's some modifications that you're going to have to make for you and your partner so that's why i just like keep myself out of that you just can't expect like advice to 100% uh, work for you and I was going to give an example but I feel like I pretty much said it as clearly as I can so that's all I got for today I thank you guys for listening to me do a little bit of gossip hopefully my next gossip girl will be a little better and more enticing but until then make sure you like comment subscribe share with a friend put on that push notification bell and I will see you guys next time bye